hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel this is the bell makeovers in case you are stopping by for the first time so today's tutorial is an eyebrow tutorial not just any eyebrow tutorial actually so i've gotten a lot of questions and requests about how i create the hair like strokes in my brows some people have said that i skip it in my makeup tutorials so here is a detailed video so if you would like to see how this was created let's go first you're going to need a mascara wand and some edge tamer make sure that the edge tamer is not oily get an oil free formula and then take a little just as i'm doing now and you're going to use it to brush the hair into place this will comb the hair straight and make it lay flat so i'm using my hands to press it down so it will further keep it in place and i'll be sure that my brows will remain like that all day so when you're done with this step the next step is to know where to start the brows where the arc should be and where the tail should be holding anything straight by the side of the nose towards the inner corner of the eye and the beginning of the brow area that will give you an idea of where the eyebrow should start from then keeping the brush at the outer corner of the nose to the outer corner of the eye draw an imaginary straight line your eyebrow should end there keeping the brush at the outer corner of the nose and putting it over the highest point of your eye eyeball when you close it that part that protrudes the most the part where it connects with the eyebrow is where your arc should ideally be next get your super flat angled brush emphasis on super flat and your eyebrow gel i use this current eyebrow gel but any brand will do actually so Taking the flat angled brush, you pick a little amount, a little goes a long way, so just pick a little amount and put it at the back of your hand so that you can cover the container back immediately to prevent it from drying out. Now you're going to start outlining from the beginning up to the arc and the tail, just the same way we mapped it out the other time. Take your time with this part, make sure the line is as straight and as thin as possible. Then you go ahead to do the same thing for the upper part and then you join it together at the tail. I promise you I'm not turning the model's head anyhow. It looks like that here, but the video is on fast forward. I'm not pushing her head anyhow. You have to be as gentle as possible. So now we are creating strokes, mimicking the hair that we already have. So this is where you use your discretion. If you like your brows natural, you go easy with the strokes you create in the middle. Just follow the direction in which you brushed the hair. You can decide to fill only the part that has no hair or you can decide to fill anything, eh, everything rather if you like your brows um, more pronounced or dark like this one. But if not, if you want to keep it more natural, just fill in the part that does not have any hair at all you can just leave the hair like that and yes before we continue i'm now taking bookings in the uk bridal makeup party guests birthdays photo shoots gaily just send me a dm on instagram at the bell makeovers please also like and leave a comment on this video so that it can reach a lot more people thank you so much next we're going to be highlighting the brows and for that i'll be using two shades of concealer i'm using newborn beauty 042 and 042.5 with this flat angled brush so you have to make sure that the angled brush is flat so that you can get sharp and crisp eyebrows so i just took a little i'm starting with the darker shade the 042.5 and i'm using it to highlight the beginning part so you can see i'm drawing a straight line just at the edge of the eyebrow that's the beginning part and also the tail the arc area i want it to be the most highlighted so i'm going to be using the lighter shade for the arc area here you can use your discretion with the quantity of concealer you are using if you would like to use a little concealer use a little concealer if you like to use more concealer like me use more concealer i like to um, apply enough concealer so that I can blend it downwards and it can form part of my eye work when I start that's why I like to blend it downwards so I'm blending it out with that blending brush the purpose of the brush is to blend it smoothly so that you don't have any streaks next I'm going to be using a foundation that is her shade or as close to her shade as possible for the upper part that's because she wants it to blend easily into the foundation when you apply it if you've already applied foundation before 
um, doing the eyebrows you can skip this step or just use a little of the same foundation that you used and use it for the upper part of the eyebrow and as usual you blend it out so i know that i've been very inconsistent on this youtube but this year i want to change i want to be more consistent so i'm in the comment section please can you give me ideas on what you would like to see what you want me to post or what you want me to talk about i've never really talked on this channel um apart from voiceover so let me know if you want me to talk about anything or if you would like to see some particular tutorials or looks or if it is gilly let me know and um i will work on them this year i promise this year is going to be different so let me know what you would like to see in the comment section so now i'm blending the second eyebrow out another thing i should talk about is eyebrows are sisters not twins so sometimes you might draw your brows and it looks like oh, they don't look alike or they don't look the same just go back and try to adjust the other one so that the difference between them would not be too much they may not be able to look 100 percent the same but at least they should look alike to a large extent and if you are stopping by for the first time on this channel please subscribe please subscribe before you go and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any video when it is uploaded so now that we are done with the eyebrows the next thing is to create the strokes in the middle now i'm going to take the um, lighter concealer and i'm going to use a very flat angled brush again very flat and good brush this step is actually optional you can totally skip it you need to use the tiniest amount of concealer don't go and take fresh concealer for this just the leftover that you have on your, at the back of your hands is enough you only need to use it to touch the concealer lightly and use it to um create the strokes on the eyebrow following the direction in which you brushed the hair earlier don't forget the direction in which you brush the hair if you use too much concealer it's going to mess up your eyebrows and it will make it look very bad so in case um, that kind of mistake happens and you use too much concealer just go back in with your eyebrow pencil or your eyebrow gel over the um, concealer the, the extra concealer it will help you to tone it down and reduce it so that it looks more natural lastly practice makes perfect room was not built in a day if you don't get it today practice it again tomorrow you'll get it thank you so much for watching this tutorial this is the finished look let me know if you would like to see it in the comment section and um, i also tied this gilly let me know if you would like to see the gilly tutorial as well if you've not liked this video please like it leave a comment subscribe and share to your friends thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye